An espresso grinder is an essential, albeit expensive piece of kit to own if you're gonna make great coffee. And in recent years, there's been a growing trend in the production of upgraded burr sets to improve the performance of these grinders and ultimately improve the quality of the coffee they produce. Now, I'm a bit of a skeptic. I can read all the information out there, but I like to test things and try things out for myself. And that's what I've done. I've taken a basic entry-level commercial grinder, the Anfim Luna. Now the burr sets for that, the standard burr sets, cost around about 60 pounds. And I've compared it to the same grinder using an upgraded burr set. These burrs are from the E65, which is the sister grinder, and the burrs are twice as expensive at 125 pounds. And the question is, does it change how the grinder performs? Does it change the quality of the coffee it produces? So the first thing about these two burr sets is the grinding capacity of them. The standard burr set will last for around about 400 kilograms of coffee, whereas the E65 set, because of the material they use, will continue to grind for about 800 kilograms, so twice the grinding capacity. The next thing I noticed was the time it took to grind a portion of coffee. You know, the Anfim Luna does a pretty good job, an 18 gram portion in about six and a half seconds. But immediately I put those upgraded burrs in, the grinding time was much faster, uh, about five and a half seconds per portion. And that's simply down to the quality of the material, the quality of the cutting position of those grinder burrs. Ultimately, we need the coffee to taste better if we can upgrade these burrs. What I have here is a shot of our Latitude Espresso. It's an espresso with lots of African components in there. I expect lots of bright acidity, lots of sweetness. It's quite a light roast. And this particular shot's been taken using the standard burrs that come with the Anfim Luna. Okay, so yeah, there's acidity there. There's not quite as much acidity as I would like from this coffee that I'm used to but it's definitely there, and there's definitely some sweetness in the cup as well. Again, maybe a bit less than I'd expect. And it's interesting because there's a finish to it. It's quite a light roast here, so there's kind of a, a, a mild bitter finish at the back of the mouth that, again, I tend not to find from this coffee. It's a nice shot, don't get me wrong. It's just maybe not what I would expect. So, for the magic of video, I've been able to go and change the burrs in this grinder. I've now put the E65 burr set in, and I have another shot of coffee, same recipe as I had before. And let's see how this one tastes. Now immediately, there's a bigger, brighter burst facility right at the front of this that I expect from this coffee. And it's juicier, the sweetness is has been elevated, much more sweetness in the cup, the whole thing's really nice and juicy. And what's missing, what's disappeared, is that finish at the back end, that kind of bitter hint, bitter kick at the back end. It's a much more rounded, much more kind of gathered together coffee. Um, there's just much more punch in the cup. So what's going on when we make coffee using these two different burrs? What is creating that? quite a vast different in character and flavor. And it comes down to the simple fact that grinders don't produce even size particles. There's always a spread of different sizes from very, very fine particles up to what we call boulders. And if that spread is quite large, if there's a lot of differing size particles, they will all extract differently and change the character of the coffee. Now I sieved a portion of coffee from each of these burr sets to see what kind of spread of particle sizes we got. And if you take the lunar burrs, you'll see that there's a couple of spikes. There's one spike on the left of the graph that shows that there were quite a lot of fine particles produced. And those fine particles will have over extracted in the cup and produced that bitter finish that I experienced. And then we've got a secondary spike to the right which is kind of producing that juicy kind of range, that sweet range that was pleasing in the cup. But when you compare that to the E65 burr set, you'll see that first of all, we're missing that spike of really fine particles. 
but the actual range of good stuff, if you like, good sized particles is much, much higher. And that means we get that better lift in the cup. So ultimately, point proven. Upgraded burrs make a difference. They make a difference to how a grinder performs and they make a big difference to how the coffee tastes. What I have next is um, an even better burr set. These are what they call Alinox coated burrs and these apparently will add five times the capacity to your grinder and lift that sweetness even further. And I'm looking forward to trying these shortly. In the meantime, any questions you have, please let me know and thanks for watching.